Hey, 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 welcome to another Money Today. Yes, crypto has tanked. <laughs> I think we can really say that at this point. Uh, and uh, if you go over to my Twitter, you can see I did a little uh, survey here. Uh, looks like this is what we got so far. Why don't you go over there and add yours? Uh, link in the description, of course. So we were getting down to 17K and then all of a sudden uh, jump back up to 18.4, I believe that is what it is right now, 18.6. So let's see, will it uh, jump back up a little bit, uh, fake everybody out, and then dive back down again? I guess we will, by the time this video comes out, I guess you will see a little bit more. But what we can say is it's pretty unpredictable. Uh, don't try and catch a falling knife, as they say. Uh, not financial advice, of course. But what we're going to talk about today, oh, I guess what I wanted to mention is uh, things that we've been talking about for a very long time. And we kind of figured, hey, this is what's going to come true. And it all seems to be coming to pass, right? The everything bubble, the, because it's just really narrative. Because the end goal has already been determined a long time ago. It's just how we were going to get there was the question. They want digital currency, digital tracking, digital everything. Get rid of cash, uh, pretty much the system of China, and just our own little flavor. And the new world currency, which may be a basket of currencies or different things. You know, watching uh, Brad Kynes. As he was talking about the th these things that we've been talking about on the show for a very long time, and uh, of course the leaders are starting to talk about as well, uh, BlackRock Digital World Currency, so Larry Fink, of course, who, when you hear from somebody like a Jerome Powell or uh, Larry Fink, you're really listening to the same person as far as I'm concerned. They're all working together to make this thing happen, whatever it may be. The central bank digital currency looks like it's the one. And the government, it's, it's pretty clear that the U.S. government has been working to kill the U.S. dollar. And uh, what's going on with Russia is no exception. Now, whether you think that uh, they're taking these crises that just happened to uh, come along and use them to get what they want, uh, digital currency, or whether these crises are manufactured to be able to get us where they want to go. That's kind of the debate I see going here. And I, you know, I do side on the fact that these are not accidents, you know, that the war between the war between Russia and Ukraine uh, pushes us further down the road into what they want is a digital currency. And the banning of, on SWIFT was actually part of that as well. If you remember, we talked about this before, Russia and the World Economic Forum to launch Center for the Fourth Industrial Revolution in Moscow. Now, this was just this past December it was created. The new Center for the Fourth Industrial Re Revolution in Moscow will be an important part of the forum's global network. So it's hard for me to believe that this is all just happenstance. Uh, but regardless, it is being used to further the goals. Also, Three Arrows Capital, many of you have heard, looks like it's insolvent. And these are the coins that we have talked about Three Arrows Capital before. These are the coins kind of to look at that may be affected. Um, now, if you look at what I hold, I have none of these other than a little bit of polka dot. So I'm really not affected by this. But of course, the market likes to act uh, together. So we probably will be affected. And together with Larry Fink's news, as you probably uh, would get, you've probably heard this quote uh, by now today. But if you haven't, I will play it real quick. Looking forward. Rapid changes are taking place in the global monetary system that may affect the international role of the dollar in the future. Most major economies already have, or are in the process of developing, instant 24-7 payments. Our own FedNow service will be coming online in 2023. And in light of the tremendous growth in crypto assets and stable coins, we are examining whether a U.S. central bank digital currency would improve upon what is an already safe and efficient domestic payment system. 
our, as our white paper on this topic notes, a U.S. CBDC could also potentially help maintain the dollar's international standing. All right. So you can see the narrative, which we've known all along was happening, has shifted to them saying it out loud. And it just so happens to coincide with all this monetary crisis, the stock market going down, crypto going down, you know, people running out of money, inflation, something has to happen, right? And I could go much, much deeper in economic policy, but I think the majority of people get a little confused. When you, they think of the dollar, they think of something that has this finite amount, which just simply isn't the case anymore. So the way that we have to think about money has to fundamentally change. Because in our mindset, we keep thinking, oh, you know, they're going to run out of money, or we can't afford to do that. When you don't realize that there is no limited amount, there is no amount that cannot be in one day just created, and or in one day just taken away. And it's just something innate in us that we think there's some sort of supply and demand when it comes to money, and there just isn't anymore. And... I'm just going to say that and let you process what that means. Now, in your own life, of course, there's supply and demand. You only have a certain amount of dollars coming in, and so you have to you know, be careful about how many go out. But that isn't the case for the dollar monetary system. So these are just things I wanted to bring up to everybody's attention today uh, and just think on them, because we're going to expound on this uh, more going into next week. But this is a foundation of what is happening and what we have been talking about for a very long time. This is going to be a great channel to be uh, tuned into because obviously I have been talking about this you know, forever. So as it comes to pass, I'm going to have a greater understanding of how to talk about it as it happens. All right. And also go to our Discord and join a link will be in the description for that as well and join our conversation. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Love y'all.